New Tour Edge drivers today. They've been excellent in our past testing. Thomas, I don't expect them to be different today. We'll use TrackMan to test them out and show you guys everything that you need to know. And golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you give this video a like, and you tell us in the comments what you think of the new Tour Edge Hot Launch 523 drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing. And it's a Tour Edge Day drivers. Um, we've got the Hot Launch 523 models, both of them in front of us here, Thomas. Um, for those that have watched the channel for a couple of years now, they know the Tour Edge drivers have performed really well in testing that we've done, whether it's the initial test, uh, kind of reviewing the product, or maybe even we put it up against competitors, it has performed really well. So uh, really high expectations today, I think. Yeah, I, I think you know, newer technology, you're always going to expect just a little bit more out yeah. of it. In this face, there's limitations on how fast the ball can come mm -hmm. off the club face, but these clubs have got more and more forgiving. Uh, I mean, specifically talking about the, the E523, yeah. it's probably going to be a little bit more draw bias, right. easy to turn over, you know, still got the offset design, um, while the C is going to maybe fly a little bit straighter, but also be still very, very forgiving. I think that's right. the important thing is these clubs are just forgiving and really right. easy to hit. Yeah, they're they're both designed for forgiveness, easy to launch in the air, but there are some differences that we'll talk about. Um, but I think, you know, in, in our testing, we've noticed the ball speed has been, you know, remarkable for maybe a, a brand that's not highly considered with, you know, the TaylorMades and the Callaways sometimes. Tour Edge definitely matches that with the ball speed. Um, and I think the Diamond Face VFT technology is part of that. Um, really consistent across the whole face, but also in the center, really explosive stuff. Um, but then we can kind of dive into what's different, right? So E523, kind of the extremely forgiving model, like you mentioned, the C523, kind of the competitor's player's uh, driver, right? Yep. So I um, mean, it's not necessarily your, you know, like for example, TSR4, it's not necessarily like that, but it's <laughs> certainly, uh, kind of more rounded, more compact shape than the E523 when you look at them. Yeah, and I think, you know, it's not one of those clubs where you can adjust the hosel, you can, you can adjust the CG. It is kind of, yep. is what it is. And I think, you know, Tour Edge have done such a great job on just defining what is important, where, where the market is for their particular clubs, and they're able to, you know, provide maybe a little more of a cost savings. And yep. also, not even just cost saving, but able to place the weight in the right place on right. the club head by not having to have to worry about that adjustable hosel, which yep. we know is going to add weight. Um, I think they've done a great job. Yeah, so with the C523 now, this is, I, I can't, yeah, I don't really know which one is going to be a wider, you know, golfer range, I guess. But the C523 has a new ra sole rail design um, that really, ha it kind of has an MOI boosting rear weight um, in a kind of more unique way of uh, manipulating that weight. So it's not necessarily all the way in the back, kind of with the E523, but it generates high MOI and a combination of also giving you kind of low spin that, a player with a little bit more skill or speed might appreciate in that driver. And then you move to the E523, we've got that Houdini sole that's been so good in the highly forgiving Tour Edge clubs for a yep. long time. Yeah, and that, that weight is pushed all the way back. It's, yep. it's a little more evident and it's maybe a little more heel bias as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, yeah. So all across the face, you get that forgiveness and then the Houdini sole. And it's also visible in, by the way, the irons and the fairways and the hybrids with the, the E523 clubs. but. Um, really brings that weight low, that center of gravity low, easy to launch in the air. And so today we're going to test that out, Thomas, and we'll really see what TrackMan tells us. But I mean, what are you expecting here and kind of what are you going to, you know, format of the test maybe, tell us about what uh, you're going to do for us here. Yeah, I mean, we'll hit several shots with each one. Now, I'm not going to go out and swing my 100% swing. I'll probably yeah. lower it down to probably mid-90s in club speed so we can get a general understanding of, you know, what kind of market this club's going to kind of fit into. Um, I would expect a little less spin with the C523. Probably a little bit more spin and a little bit more shot shape to the left with the E523. Okay. Is what I, and maybe a little higher launch. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, higher launch, higher spin. C might be just a little bit on the, on the lower side compared sure. to the E. Okay, well, uh, let's get to it here. All right. All right, so Drew, for today's testing, we'll change it up a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. Why don't we alternate driver shots each time? So I'll hit one shot with the C523, one shot with the E523. Do that a couple of times, mm -hmm. and then we'll talk about the look and the feel. Yeah. And then we'll continue on, and we'll take a look at the numbers. Sure, sure. And then we should also note, too, regular flex with the E523, stiff flex with the C523. So in that sense, it's not going to be a perfect head-to-head, -head, but you know, we're using what we've been given here and the fact that they're not adjustable, we can go back and forth here very easily. So. Yeah, and I'll, I'll just do my best to try and match up the club speed with yeah. both so we can see how different they are. Sure. Yeah, 
interesting uh, sound right off the bat from my perspective. Yeah, it's it definitely you know is is loud. It's, it's almost kind of got that that ping yeah, sound to it. It does. That's the first thing that came to my mind yeah. too was the sound of a ping driver. I mean, looking down at the 523, the E 523 versus the C, definitely notice the offset. Yeah. Definitely looks like the face, you know, a yeah. little it's bit, little help, bit shot. It's trying to fight the right before you even swing. Yeah. I can immediately see already that ball started left. Yeah, a little bit more draw and a little bit more spin and a little higher launch. Interesting, there. yep. So why don't you maybe, now that you have, just keep both in your hand quick and just kind of compare the, the look while you got them both. Yep. Um, I know you mentioned already you saw the offset right away on the E. Uh, how about club head profile? Anything different there? Yeah, so you're right. More offset, maybe a little more shot face with the E. Mm -hmm. um, so we're looking at the club face here. What I notice is a shallower face with okay. the E523. So it's not as tall. The yeah. C is taller. So okay. I have to take a, a measurement from the top of the crown to the bottom there. This would be longer. Yep, yep, yep. And this would be you know, shorter. Yeah, yeah. But then once we go from the heel to the toe, it looks like it's a little longer from heel to toe. Okay. And then because it's designed that way, they're, they push the weight further back yeah. with the E. So this is a little bit more compact yeah. from the front of the face to the, to the rear of the club yeah. head, while this is a little bit longer yeah. from, from for the, the E. Front. The E's a little longer, right? Correct, the E's a little longer, mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, that's definitely noticeable looking down at two of those. Um, you know, nice, a little glossy, but nice black, black finish yeah. on top Pretty of the crown look down at. And then the only thing, other thing I noticed there with the E is you've got the I think it's the Ridgeback design. Yeah, Ridgeback, yeah. Um, where, where you've got some, you had a Ridgeback right across the top of the crown there. Yeah. You now it's used as kind of a little bit of alignment aid, but I also think it's used for aerodynamics as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, aerodynamics, and it also kind of stabilizes it um, a little bit at impact. So, especially if you do miss the center of the face, right, it's kind of more resistance to twist, as our friend Larry Bob likes to say. So, yep. you have right. that on the E523. So, again, just, just more elements of forgiveness added in there that. Um, you might not have the C523, so. All right, well, let's hit a few more. That's loud, man. It's so yeah, it's loud. loud. Yeah, it just, it's launching higher, but also left every time. Well, yeah, well, every time as in both times, but. I think I'm going to probably fight that little bit of a, a draw because I'm not used to an offset club here yeah, today. That's, that's true, yeah. Maybe I can try and straighten it out a little bit, get the ball start a little further to the right. But definitely looks like it wants to curve further mm -hmm. left. And that's, yeah, hitting the screen a lower spot. Yep. yep. And definitely a little le less spin as well. For sure. Now, we should also note you, just the way you swing the club is, the, is a lower spinning swing. Correct. Right? I mean, yep. so. People yeah. might look at these spin numbers, with, especially with the C523, and think that's too low. But the way you swing is much lower spin than the average player. So, I mean, you're hitting up on this tee shot right now, four degrees. Um, and most players are not doing that. They're, in fact, hitting down on it, which will generate more spin. So Yeah, that or even just adding more speed to, yeah. the, to the swing. Adding more right. speed and also hitting down a little more would increase the Right, the well, and the, when you do swing your normal speed with your gamer driver, obviously these numbers yep. are a little bit, that spin number is a little bit better for you. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That'll work. That one, I, I intentionally tried to just kind of push it a little to the, yeah. to the right, because the first two obviously were straight left with mm -hmm. it being with him that offset in the shot face. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that was almost the same as the swing before, but the spin was about 400 RPMs less. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. That's it's a nice little over. drawer. We're definitely seeing some trends there. Kind of left, a little bit higher launch, a little more height. Yeah, a little more spin. There's some extra distance there. Yeah, that was good. That one turned around a little bit. Yeah, I mean, even the C523, it's not like it's not a drawer club. You can still draw it as oh, well. Yeah. 
Right. The E it's just not, has a know, little extra help. Yeah, and I think this is especially this uh, the the E five twenty three is especially going to be helpful for the player that slices the ball. Yeah. You know. All right. Well, we've got our we got five good shots with these driver here, Thomas. Okay. Um, just quickly want to bring up some some data here. We can talk about some data quickly, um, and then we can kind of go into some final thoughts here. But um, initially here, these are the, the testing numbers there. Uh, pretty close on the average club speed. So this is the data we got to work with. Uh, I mean, pretty comparable in a lot of ways, but I see some key differences that do separate these drivers. Yeah, I mean, ball speed, club speed, smash, bells, yeah. basically the exact same, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. that's, that's pretty impressive. But yeah, we're seeing the launch angle with the C523 a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. E523, what, a 1.2 degree higher yep. launch. And then about, oh, we're talking maybe 250, 300 RPMs more yep. spin with the E523 than the C523. Right. Now it's important, you did mention before that this is my swing profile. Right. When I slow my speed down, I'm not gonna generate a lot of spin. But yep. the takeaway here is the E523 is going to spin more than yep. the C523. Right you're probably not going to see 1688 spin with the no. C523 um, or even 1919, right. depending on the swing profile. Yeah, I mean, most players are spinning it more than you are. Um, but I think, the yeah, like you said, the important thing to note here is that we had, you know, 10 good strikes of the golf ball here, five with each club, and we saw a trend emerge of the spin being, you know, pretty comfortably higher with the E523. Also a launch profile, a little bit higher. Yep. Um, and then we also saw, I mean, we can kind of look at the curve number and then we'll bring up dispersion, but the curve number, a lot more curve moving left as well. Um, maybe that offset's helping it and kind of the, you know, maybe some internal draw bias of the club on the E523 helping that out as well. Yeah, I mean, it's flying 10 feet higher with the E523 than the C523. So no, if you need a little extra height out of your driver, mm -hmm. that's the club for you. Yep. So he's gonna fly a little lower, but I think the important piece is gonna be, like you mentioned that curve and then the shot correction you're gonna get. Yep. So you can see obviously about 38 feet of curve more to the yep. left with the E523, but then you take a look at the screen. Yep. And that pretty much kind of sums it up right there. Right. The C523 flying pretty straight overall, yep. tiny little drawer, but the E523 is yeah. really easy to And you even mentioned this, over. I think it was this one here that you kind of felt like you tried to almost start it out kind of to the right even, and yep. you still ended up drawing it back across the center line there. So clearly some, some draw bias, some high launches, some forgiveness in that E523. And the C523 still a very good kind of high MOI driver, but just not quite the, the draw bias maybe and the stability of the E523. All right, so Thomas, the testing complete there. We just kind of talked over some of those numbers a, a little bit there, but um, I think overall really good stuff from Two Reg, and, and I think I'm excited now too moving forward to put this up against some of those competitors, especially the C523 that will go against uh, you know some of the the best out there from you know Ping, TaylorMade, Titleist, Callaway, Cobra, the big names that we think of. Um, that's going to be really exciting, I think. Yeah, and I even the E523 against maybe your your clubs that are known to be really raw real bias. Yeah. See, just see how much bias that really has compared mm -hmm. to those as well. Sure, so yeah. let's kind of break this down. We talked about the data a little bit, but let's break down, let's start with the E523. So let's say you're in the fitting bay, you're working with a golfer and you realize they might um, might need the E523. So what then would that golfer be struggling with that the E523 could help with? Well, I think, you know, budget might come up in the conversation a little sure. bit um, because we know these. this is priced a little bit lower compared to your mm -hmm. TaylorMade, Ping, yeah. Callaway, all, all that kind of stuff, or you're looking for a new driver. So that might be an option, but then, you know, E523, it's, if I'm seeing a golfer that maybe has an out to in swing plat, yep. swim path, the face is a little open, and all they've done in their life is slice the ball. Yeah. Where we're just trying to get some extra shot correction. Now, this shot correction is not gonna solve everything, no. but it's gonna fight that curve to the right. right. And that's the kind of, you know, probably, a, I'd say a slightly higher handicap golfer as well. Yeah. I'm not gonna probably put a low handicap golfer into this that has a lot of speed. Yeah. I would say maybe say a little slower slower speed, ability to turn the ball over, this is your one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the C523, now there's, again, we've talked about similarities, kind of same club face texture, um, and you know a lot of the same properties in terms of bringing that weight back a little bit and 
providing stability, but not quite as much forgiveness or as much uh, draw bias per se in the C523. I still think there's a lot of forgiveness in the C523. Yeah. I mean, probably maybe not quite as much as the E, but compared to other competitors, I think this is still a very, very forgiving driver. Mm -hmm. Very, very easy to hit, you know, fairly light. Yeah. Um, I think the you know biggest thing you know you take away here is it's an option for golfers that want their clubs right away. Yeah. You know, we talk about you know Torridge, they have their 48 hour window, mm -hmm. guarantee window, even through the pandemic, they also promised that all the way yep. through there too. So if a golfer comes in and like, I need my club, these clubs in a week, yeah. And they're they're all you know you throw to or Torridge in the mix and they perform pretty well. I think that's when we're gonna start right. discussing these clubs with those players. Right. I mean they're everything's made in America with these clubs. Yep. So that's a really cool feature that I know a lot of we have seen even a lot of golfers in the comments on YouTube, for example, have showed their appreciation for Tour Edge in that, in that aspect. So um, two great drivers from Tour Edge here. I think they'll be great performers uh, here in the back end of 2022, but then also uh, in 2023 uh, for golfers, like you mentioned, maybe on a bit of a budget, but want some new technology um, and they want it right away. Tour Edge is going to provide that with the C523 in the E523. So golfers, if you're interested, make sure you schedule your fitting at Second Swing um, or connect with one of our online fitters through the online fitting and support team at secondswing.com. We'll get you set up with a Tour Edge driver that is right for your game. So Thomas, thanks for hitting the shots today, doing the testing. Uh, really good stuff here. Not a problem.